What's up, God? Quick twin flame reading update for those who are watching, those who are on a journey to oneness with themselves and with their, in, you know, with their internal, external selves, meaning yourself and your partner. Um, quick update: I have been focused on, you know, publishing my book. I've been giving free readings on my Facebook and Instagram profiles. I'll click. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. The way that I, it works, you know, I I have statuses, and if you comment on a status with your question, I'll give you a free reading. So they've been keeping me very booked and busy. Well, very busy. I wouldn't call that a booking, but anyway. Today, I just want to go over an update. We have some things going on. We have, what is it? Capricorn energy. And we know Capricorn energy is about working hard towards your goals and putting in the active energy necessary to reach your goals. Um, I was just talking to my Facebook people about energy. So Capricorn is like doing the hard work, allowing spirit to work or match your effort. But in order for God and spirit to move on your behalf, it starts with you and your effort. There has to be some sort of energy for spirit to match. Yeah, so it says Jupiter moves into Capricorn December 2nd. Yeah, and they say this is for the first time in 12 years. It's a call to action from the universe. So with that call to action, we're just going to put this reading and, you know, not influenced by anything. See what Spirit has to say about um, our Swift Flame journeys and how we can move forward for the best. I have a lot of sun. I have a lot of natural light. So um, excuse the lighting. You know, I could try to do better lighting, but... I'll just leave it the way it is right now. Hope you guys are going well. This is my book, The War on Your Money. It's about increasing in money and power, financial literacy, and just giving tips and principles of increase. So if you're looking to increase financially or if you know someone who's looking to increase financially, I highly recommend it. I'll put the link in the description box as well. First card that came up, Disseminated Moon. Take the time to breathe out interesting then we have have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon so we know that waxing crescent moon is about possibilities things are still possible for you things are still working for you um but i want to read some of it verbatim i i like to go off the dome but i also like to just read what what the author work wrote and the first line is, don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing for some people. I know some of us are eager and ready for the next phase of life. But things are still taking shape. Um, it's a time to have faith. It's a time to be courageous. But it's a time to have courage to follow your dreams. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say, Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. So overall energy, have faith in your dreams. Things are still taking shape. Um, interesting how we got disseminating moon with that. You know, right now with the energy being active with Jupiter and Capricorn, it's like, why would we get disseminating moon? We'll take a time to breathe out. Um, but I think this is just being okay. It says you should know where you're staying or right now or either very soon. But I am where I am and it's okay. So it's more so about being okay with where you are. Being okay with where you are on, on your journey, where you are in your relationship, where you are in life. And um, avoiding falling into slumps and taking the time to just get a deep breath and being okay in the moment. Being okay um, with what's happening, having faith and knowing that everything is happening for your good. And some, some of you may even need to take some time out. Hmm. Ooh. Some people, it may be time to regroup and learn from your experience instead of blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time to relax. Breathe. We can't be on all the time. 
If you failed in some kind of way or hit an obstacle, it's saying now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. That is not encouraging at all. <laughs> Sometimes these readings manifest like a month behind. So it's not what I want to do. But maybe this message isn't for me. So let's see what else comes up in this reading because spirit so far I seen half a take a time. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is what I'm talking about. We have works, three of pentacles, and we have fortune. But right under fortune, we have disappointment. And we have the seven of swords. So let's talk about what's right under the fortune. So right after disappointment, right after failure, right after the enemy trying to steal, kill, and destroy. I was just talking to a friend about the seven of swords energy uh, representing the enemy stealing, killing, and destroying your inheritance, your fortune. Um, but right after you overcome this hump of disappointment and overcome the hump of the enemy trying to steal your fortune. And the Seven of Swords came out in a lot of my July readings, July, August time frame, July, August, September time frame. Seven of Swords kept coming out. That was the time period of the enemy still killing and destroying. But now the fortune is here. There's a change, a fortunate change of events. Excuse me. So once you get over that hump of disappointment, once you get over the hump of the devil trying to steal, kill, and destroy, you have a fortunate set of events. You have prosperity. You have abundance. You have something extremely, extremely fortunate happening on your behalf. Why? Because of your, because of your partnership with spirit. I was just talking about partnering with spirit and energy, right? So because you put your energy in, the masculine energy, because your feminine energy work with you and, and, and God. So when three become one, that's what the triangle represents. When three become one. So this fortunate set of events comes from your twin flame journey, the relationship with yourself, the dualities of yourself becoming one with God. So you're working and you're having the faith and finally a fortunate set of events. This could change this whole reading. This could change the whole beginning of this reading. So instead of reflecting on failure, now you're reflecting on your journey and you're taking the time to breathe out because you've accomplished something. It's like now this energy is, okay, let me think. It finally worked. Now I can take a break before I enter this new phase of life. Or just taking the time to reflect upon your journey and why it worked. And we know why. Because of your partnership with spirit. Now this reading can be read two different ways. Um, reflecting on what you did wrong. Could be reading the energy wrong or something, I don't know. It could be something that you wanted to change or what something you thought was unfortunate or your partnership with spirit. You could be reflecting on how you got it wrong or how you thought something major was gonna happen and it didn't. But I'm not, I don't, I think me saying that was kinda like just, what are you reaching? Because it's really seeming like having faith in your dreams, moving towards your goals, having faith in them, taking the time to reflect on your experience as you experience this change, as you experience this blessing. But I could pull some more cards. Because, and they're screaming in my ear, chakra, 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 wheels and oracle cards. I was going to pull an energy card, but I'm going to pull one of these. Sometimes these make the reading complicated. But I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Spirit, what do you have to say about this reading? There we go. That's the one I wanted to come out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just did not want this reading to get any more complicated. Confusion. Hey, hey, hey. What are we confused about? 
perception. Okay, so that makes okay. Let's read some of these definitions. That kind of goes back to the second version of this reading, which is reflecting upon your journey and what you got wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. When you are in the unknown, it may be a little comfort to know that you are safe. Your angels have brought you to this point. You may need more information in, at this time. Remain still and allow inspiration in. It will come. Interesting perception. The ability to see things differently and the chance of embracing transformation. There is an ability to attract wealth here if you have an open heart. This is a confusing reading, to be honest. So this is about a shift in perspective, an open heart, ability to see things differently. Um, yes, you have the ability to attract wealth and fortune, but it requires an open heart. This energy is very confusing. Um, and then the confusion was about also seeing things differently. So this energy I'm reading is, this isn't active energy at all. I could be reading for something that may be happening in the future. So it's like not knowing what to do. Being confused, not knowing what to do. This could be about a partnership. A partnership, being confused about a partnership. Self-worth is right under there. Victim, right under there. Interesting. Gossip right under there. So this could be about a change in the partnership. Three of Pentacles here could represent three people. A change in the partnership and being confused. Maybe things didn't work out your way or things worked out differently than you thought they would. And Spirit is calling you to have an open heart. I am not feeling this reading. The spirit, spirit, see, being all over the place. All over the place. I am not embracing this energy. Guys, that's funny. Man holding a heart. Angel of love. Man holding the coin. Didn't I say three people? Adjacent possibility. I knew. I knew this was about a man or a partnership. Three people. One woman, two men. One woman, two men. Adjacent possibilities. This is crazy. A woman and two men. A confusing time period. Adjacent possibilities. A window opens and confuses the fuck out of this situation now i understand the confusion it's about the journey the swim flame journey and choosing one person or not knowing who to choose and something unexpected happens something changes something changes that's crazy something changes but it's all a part of your journey and it's going to require an open heart and perception to be changed you're going to have a have a shift in perception a shift in perception. Look at this. You cannot make this shit up, guys. See, this reading had me all over the place. But that's the energy. I can't, you know what? It annoys me that I take on the energy of my readings sometimes. If a person requests a, a reading and they're confused, sometimes the energy, I take on the energy. Or if they're emotional, I take on the emotions. It's annoying. But it's a gift, I guess, that I have to learn to manage. But this one is the energy of confusion. Being confused about these two men. And it's going to require a shift of perception. But with cornucopia, it's like wishes fulfilled. But perhaps... You know, because we had adjacent possibilities, these wishes are fulfilled in a way that was unexpected. 
So wishes fulfilled in the way that is unexpected and having to make a decision. Now, this could also be between work. Sometimes men represents masculine energy as well, which represents work. So not knowing which way to go, not knowing which door opens to wishes being fulfilled. But this is a part of the journey. This is a part of the journey. And what's crazy is I was just seeing eights and ones, and I was going to look up ones and eights, but I ignored it. You know, I always look up the meanings. Man holding a heart, man holding a coin could represent a financial opportunity versus something that you doing something that you love. So this could be in relationships, but this, you know, with angel of love here is probably a relationship reading. No cap. Could be work, but it seems to be like a relationship reading. Not knowing who to choose, not knowing where to go, but, you know, shifting perspective, a shift in perspective, not playing the victim, um, not worrying about gossip, but the ability to see things different, the ability to see things different, accepting your gift and things for the way they are. To be honest, this is not... <sighs> You know how they say there's that's a good problem to have, choosing between two men? It could be perceived as a good problem to have, but it's like, who really wants that problem? Who wants that problem? And I've been feeling this energy and this energy of, of feminine energy choosing between two masculine energies, which can be a male or it could be a work-related, hard work determination, career-related decision, um, physical you know, reality decision. But it's like... Who wants to be in the energy of being confused and not knowing what to choose, having an open heart, having a shift of perspective? A man holding a heart and a man holding a coin. Where do you go? Who do you choose? I'm not choosing for you. So if you resonate with this reading, I do not envy you, which could be me in the future. I just read a reading. I just watched one of my old readings from like a month or so ago. This shit was so on point for my life right now. I was like, wow. Couldn't believe how on point it was for my life. Anyway, guys, I hope you resonate with this reading or not. If you do, thanks for watching. Um, remember, this is a general reading, personal reading. Add me on Facebook and I'll do it for you. Ashley Taylor, but I'll put the link in my description. Um, don't forget AshleyGiller.com if you want to increase financially and money and power. The Warrior Money, how to win the Warrior Money, position yourself from increase. It's on all platforms. I recommend it for my personal website though because I get paid more. If you want to give Amazon money, you want to give Amazon money. But support the author. Go to my website, AshleyGiller.com and purchase it directly from me. I wish you love. I wish you likes. I wish you more life. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGiller.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.